This world is beautiful. I mean, look at this place behind me. Look, uh, today's video isn't about this, but as I was just walking around Windcraft, kind of taking it all in, even just around some normal places, I found this beautiful little waterfall that I'm going to try to incorporate in some of my future builds that I plan to be doing on my Minecraft SMP. I love the way that Windcraft looks, and that's one of the reasons why I enjoy playing it so much. Now, that brings me into today's video, where yesterday I asked you guys some questions and I kind of wanted your feedback on how to stop a lot of the times I would play for two three weeks and Windcraft would get boring and I'm like what is a way to stop that from happening where you can just have fun bring friends on and actually keep them on you know and I was wondering because I'm sure that most of us have this issue we know how we enjoy to play Windcraft and there's so many ways to it's just there seems to be a hard way to uh, share that with other people so um, yeah I just want to go into your comments straight up because y'all actually have some pretty pretty good ideas so this is the video from yesterday and you guys watched a lot of it thank you guys so much for the views um, and of course the first thing is I get things wrong look I get things wrong I admit I get things wrong um, and so one of the wrong things is that I said is that um, that skybox and high pixel um, Anyways, uh, we'll get into it as I as I as I read through. Uh, the first one, which was honestly pretty good, one of the first comments was to have a fight club that's all in the terms of balance PvP and win to make it better, like roguelike content, um, so that every time you do it, like it's a fair fight. Um, and he was saying, uh, overall, I feel like the same. But I feel you, the same currently I'm playing with the goal of a green or every mythic out of a cat of perfect health. So, what he's pretty much saying there, or what I'm gathering there, is that we're constantly, especially people who have beaten the game, is that you've reached the point where it's like, it's a grind just to get one item that might not even be good. Um, so, honestly, what could be fun is that introducing a game mode where you, you get to pick any armor set and you get to duel against somebody kind of like pokemon in a way but with yourself so it's kind of inter it's a lot more interactive than a game like pokemon you just get to build a kit in the span of a few seconds and you get to play around with it and that gets super exciting because maybe you can try out new builds and uh and see if you like it better i feel like that's a better way to incorporate a fight club type of deal um in a way that is is exciting i love that idea i think that's a, that's a super super uh good idea wait wait hold up what did i just see behind me destination levigar quartz why are you even delivering quartz to levigar they already have it what in the world that makes no sense anyways uh back to the comments um, I have played Skyblock. It's just been a long time. This person has not played Skyblock unless you're just talking about having more leaderboards for people to compete over. In that case, I kind of agree with that. I don't think Windcraft is going going for that though, and I doubt a leaderboard requires grinding would solve your boredom. You've completed all quests on all five classes, so claiming you've beaten the game is warranted. What's making you assume you should stick around? Fun is subjective and how you make something fun is up to you. If Windcraft is not currently not enjoyable, please continue making your SMP series. You're better off making content off something you enjoy. I recommend trying out an Iron Man character. It definitely brings out a new perspective in the game and really showcases how fl fleshed out the game is. An Iron Man character. Uh, that's interesting. I watched the entire video just to make sure I wouldn't say anything ignorant in the comments. I'm certain you have not experienced everything the game has to offer. Maybe a challenge series might be fun if you're trying to fulfill some sort of desire uh, to create content for Windcraft. Thank you for making Windcraft content, by the way. Also, I'd wish you'd write down your thoughts and main topics on a notepad so you can limit the chaotic rambling and keep in order towards the conclusion. This would also give you time to consider the suggestions you would want to implement um, uh, Implement than making up some terrible idea on the spot like player-owned territories. Okay, that might be a bad idea. And honestly, I agree with you, with the most with large majority of your points. Um, I do want to move over to making content that I like, and I will talk more about that in a later video. Um, but... I've been kind of on a roll with do daily episodes and I'm very close to a big milestone that I want to hit and then I'll explain that later. Um, but I definitely agree um, that fun is subjective. If you don't enjoy playing Minecraft, ultimately it is here for you. Uh, play what you enjoy. 
Um, that is really all that I can say. Play what you have the most fun with, and that's really all that matters. Um, and so I, I, I do like I do like that. It's it's definitely a good post. And I, I understand that they're not trying to be rude, and I do ramble on, but it's because I have quite a busy life outside of the videos, which, you know, I could definitely be, be making better videos, understandably. Um, Hypixel Skyblock has no PvP with other players. I could have sworn they had like a little PvP pit that you could fight in. Um, so if I'm wrong about that, I may be wrong about that. The PvP area was removed. Oh, <laughs> literally scroll up and there's that. Okay, so that that's 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 great. Um, I recommend playing with friends. Uh, absolutely, the most fun I've had in Windcraft is definitely playing with friends. Um, but it's a lot more fun when you're y'all are all around the same level. If there was a way to incorporate everyone being at the same level, like maybe that Pokemon thing I mentioned in the beginning, that could solve an issue like that. I'm not entirely sure. Some cool random stuff from Corrigan. He says, is more boss rushes like Legendary Island. That's, of course, just more content. Uh, survive the wave game, sort of like the old Guild Wars, but actually difficult mobs and maybe even some dedicated open terrain. So what he's talking about here is that in the old way that guilds used to conquer territories is that you would defend your tower with mobs. It wouldn't be a single tower that fights back at you. It would be a series of mobs. So if they make it much more tough mobs, like let's say it's like two TNA bosses, um, I, can, uh, I can definitely see that making that a bit more challenging, maybe more fun. Um, or more things that people can speedrun. Cough, cough, like mo Monumenta. I don't know what this is. I don't know everything in the game, so I'm not sure. I think that the current festival minigame is pretty fun too. I do like the festivals that they do. Maybe if they could keep one of the festivals around, like where people can like get a feel for like, you know, getting a, a team of people together. I'm not sure, but I'm sure that they have a dedicated team of uh, like developers who are constantly working on new stuff, which is also kind of cool. Um, so there's an idea I've come up with watching this. The main problem with Hunter is that you're, this is what I really like. I read this yesterday and it was, I thought it's great. Um, a problem with Hunter is that you're likely to be on a world without any other hunted players. It's maybe not an easy fix, but if you elect three or four worlds to explicitly be hunted mode, it forces the player interaction. Now this I would be down for. Imagine if everybody that I see in the world is uh what's it called they're all on hunted mode you can play the whole game but everybody's on hunted mode and you earn emeralds and you earn stuff um by playing on that world like you have a whole separate class for hunted mode and you can only play with people like that i would actually really like that inclusion because current hunted mode people don't really know right i mean they can find out but they don't really care but if you're playing on a server with everyone else that's hunted that makes it a lot more exciting for sure so i really really like this idea something they could do maybe is set up obscenely difficult quests i don't know how i feel about obscenely difficult quests because the problem with obscenely difficult quests like we have the temple of legends quest is that a lot of people try to skip it um that's something that i try to do on some accounts because it just gets annoying doing an extremely difficult quest isn't like it's not the amount of reward that you get at the end is not satisfactory enough for all the work that you end up doing for it it seems like a lot of fetch quests right and also of course it takes a long time to produce these long quests so ultimately um i don't know if i so much think that that would be a great idea um let us see this is like such a small thing, but I'm always wanting more small immersion, like the ability to set up a small campsite anywhere. Questing with friends and stopping anywhere having a campfire or a tent would be something so cool. I know this isn't at all the kind of thing you were talking about, but I hope there's a few more things to do in the end game. And by the time I get there, lol. I think a cute little campfire would be pretty sick. Not gonna lie, a cute little campfire does sound like a uh, a lot of fun, a lot a lot of cute little like experience. I do like the way that they've kind of so they do have stuff that i haven't done i haven't 100 percent of the game in order to 100 percent the game i would have to complete every quest which i have and then all the discoveries which i've missed five and i don't know where they are and then all the secret discoveries which i have not done now these discoveries and secret discoveries are the interesting bits and the mini quests but the mini quests aren't exactly interesting it's usually the secret discoveries that expand the lore 
of the world. So honestly, I they do kind of incorporate smaller stuff, but it's not really um, pushed down the player, which honestly is a good thing. If you you should be able to play the game you want to, the way you want to, um, and that that makes sense to me. I think that that's a, a correct way to play the game. Um, so ultimately. I don't know, the small camps I think is cool, but adding a tiny, uh, like, tiny little things on the side, it kind of already existed the, through the mini quests and the, and, I'm sorry, the secret discoveries. So, ultimately, you guys had a lot of thoughts, and honestly, some of these are really, really good. Um, and it, it makes a lot of sense to me. Um, I'm going to leave this video off here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video i know that i ramble on a bit but it's kind of how th that's why i like making videos to ramble on and just to talk about things that i enjoy and things that i hate and things that i hope can be updated things that i don't know about and yeah that's kind of where i'm at thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and i will definitely see you guys tomorrow thank you guys so much for watching bye bye